Hey guys, what is going on? It's your man with the plan. Rolling coins. Alright, so today we're hopping into the topic I was going to talk about last video. How do you grade coins? Well, there's a couple things. Let's get that pop can out of the way there. <laughs> a couple things. So, what do you look for when grading coins? Well, I kind of laid out a line of uh, coins here. Let's show you guys along. So, with coins, there's many different grades and types of grades. So, your lower end of the spectrum, which is usually your cheaper coins, you're going to have coins that are graded like good to fine, very good. Like this great example here, it's King George V, or VI, and uh, it's a 1941 dime. Now, you can clearly see the dates visible, but everything on the boat, all the hairlines, everything on King George is kind of just gone, deteriorated. And that would probably grade about a, a very good or a good. Then, on to this King George V nickel. You probably don't do, don't see these much, but uh, there you can find them. And it's a. Uh, I would probably grade that a very good to fine, somewhere in that range, because you can you can kind of see the crown a little bit, his beard a slightly. It, it's not a really high high grade coin. The the leaves. You can kind of see the the veins in them. And uh, on to this better piece, extremely fine grade, which is usually between fine and very fine. There's extremely fine. It's kind of on a number scale between, like, 4 and 60. I'll get into more depth of that with the uncirculated coins and stuff. Okay. So, now this coin, you can clearly see the hairlines on King George. They're very prominent, and the fields are not heavily damaged or de deteriorated. His ear is clear. As well, on the front, you can see there's some toning. That's the black. Now, if a, cone's, a, cone, if a coin is toned, that can actually increase the value or make it more, I'd say, sought out for. Like a good example would be this graded coin I have. See, it's black, and it's even worse on this side. Like, look at that. It's like charcoal. Well, that's because it oxidi oxidizes with the, uh, the oxygen in the air. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this coin is a very crisp coin. This one would probably go for about $16. And it has a fairly low mintage as well. On to, I would say, about uncirculated to, you know extremely fine to that you know in that area now this coin i found coin roll hunting and you can see the the luster around the field it has that kind of glossy look to it that's it's called mint luster it's how much like light kind of reflects off of the field of the coin now you can see this this coin uh it has some deterior deterioration on the beaver but that can be common with when the coins are made in the mint they can just kind of, you know, um, when they rub against coins, they, you know, deteriorate a little bit. And on the back, you can clearly see the hairlines. They're uh, prominent. They're focus. Yeah, there you go. On to a coin I found last week. You've probably seen this. It's, um, I would probably grade this about uncirculated because technically it is about uncirculated if you found it in, or AU if you want to do short form. Because it is circulated, technically speaking. But, you know. Yeah. On to a coin you could find in, like, a mint roll. Like these. You can buy these in tubes because they got broken out of their plastic roll. Which is what coins come in now for uncirculated coins. And uh, I just put them in plastic tubes. It's better storage, I find. And... These are usually in the rolls. This is a 2014 American. My uh, friend traded me for a roll of Canadian. And um, usually you'll find like MS60 to MS64 in these, which is, you know, the lower end of the grades for uncirculated coins. But I'll get into that now. Let's push these over to the side. So this one is a double hanging three on the 1963. Now, you probably won't be able to see it. It's at the very tip of the three. It's like two lines going up. 
and uh, it's called the double hanging error. It adds a couple extra bucks value, but nothing too special. So this one would be graded probably the lower end of the spectrum. You can see a lot of bag marks and die clashes. Well, not die clashes, but like, yeah, like indents in the coin, scrapes. That would probably be an MS-61 or something. Somewhere around the, in that spectrum. On to now this dime. You see, look at all that mint luster on it. You see how it shines? That one would probably grade as a MS-63 to MS-64. That's about a, you know, a six, seven dollar dime right there. That's pretty good. I paid, I think, like eight bucks for five of these in that condition. So I've already made my profit back. Now, you have, here, I'll, I'll transition to the MS grade. So MS, you have MS60 to MS69, or MS70. Mint state is your coins you get in rolls. Like, the ones you get from the bank and stuff. Then you have Proof Like, which are the cheaper end of the spectrum for sets you can buy. Now, back in the day, they have they had, you know, you can buy the, the coins in the polyfilm, and you can get them for like seven, eight bucks. And they're classified as Proof Like. They're, they're uncirculated, but they have more of a, like a really shiny, glossy look. And, uh... Then you have your proof. Now proofs, they're beautiful coins. They they're they, they're cheaper as well. Your most expensive are usually your your MS, your mint states. And uh, there's like merely no imperfections in the coin. Well, there is no imperfections in the coin. Um, this one I would probably grade proof sixty six as I wrote on the top there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and then you have your specimen coins, which are which are in that set over there. I have, and they're in my previous videos. But they they're like this, but they have a a brush finish in the background. <clears throat> All right, so enough talking about the grades of the coins. Oh, and to elaborate more on kind of what grades look like, AU fifty, you know, not all the mint lusters there. It's still a nice coin. MS-63, you know, beautiful looking coin. MS-64, even better. Anyways, yeah, those are my three gra three graded coins I have so far. Okay, so what tools can you use to grade coins, you may ask? Well, good question. <laughs> so if you're just starting out, you know, a uh, magnifying glass is good for looking at coins closer. But, you know, I can get a better view with my phone. And if I focus, <laughs> but, you know, we all have phones now, which are great tools. And, uh, if you're, if you kind of, you know, MacGyver it, you can take out the lens and a camera and tape it to your phone. And then it acts as kind of like a jeweler's loop or a magnifying glass or a microscope. So, which brings me to the point of, um, a jeweler's loop. Jeweler's loops are great for, you know really up close on coins and stuff. My, oh yeah, yeah, have a, yeah. This one has a light on it. Try to get one with a light, but you know, you don't have to. And then you have your microscope. This one's, you know, I paid like, I paid 15 bucks for this and I paid like seven bucks for the jewelers. You know, that's not a too bad price. So where can you find these grades? Anything above MS60 to so these things, you can buy those in rolls. You can find them at banks for face value. And uh, you can do trades, eBay, whatever you prefer. But usually they have a premium. Unless you go to the bank and you ask for some mint wrapped rolls, like in those boxes, you can get them in the four rolls. Um, I'll show you. Let me put my phone down for a sec. So things like these. This rolls 40 bucks. It's uncirculated, still in the plastic from the mint. These sell for about 70 to 80 bucks on eBay. I paid 40. Because banks can't charge you any premium on these. 
along with this 50 cent piece roll from Canada. It's, uh, let me focus. 2008. This one goes for about 60 bucks, and I only paid 12.95 for it. I have two of those. And they're only mintage dot like, uh, etc. with the mintage in here. It's, it's the lowest mintage out of, like, all the half dollars. Or 50 cent pieces, I should say. So, yeah. You could find the uncirculated coins at banks, on eBay, and for the good to about uncirculated, you can find those coin roll hunting. And you'd be surprised. Even a nickel like this, if you manage to get the 19, I think it's 1926, in this condition, that goes for about 80 bucks. Along with this half dollar. I got this for free in a trade. Some stoner wanted some money. And he was selling some coins for dirt cheap. So I'm like, I'll take up the offer. Got that. You know, 16 bucks. Not bad. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, next video, maybe I'll do... How, yeah, I'll do how to store your coins. You know. Anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. I really pre appreciate the support. Keep on watching, you know. Useful tips I give out. I, I try to get people into the into the collection. And, uh, you know, keep, keep the dream living on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Rolling Coins signing off.